Good morning everybody, my name is Jacob, back at you with another video and today is a video that I did not think I would be making for a very, very long time, but it's happened. Today I've been out and made the biggest purchase of my life. The biggest purchase of my life and I'm very excited to show you to you guys. It's a very, very exciting investment for me that has brings a lot of new opportunities and opens quite a few doors. I don't can't really talk because I just want to get into it and open it and play with it. Yeah, let's go. So I've been to the camera house, as you guys can see, Stars Camera House, my local camera store here in Hobart, and I have made a purchase of all the invoices and stuff. I have made a purchase of a Canon 5D Mark III. Along with a lens filter, a spare battery, a spare SD card, and a Tamron 24 to 70 lens. 2.8 GU. V. V. I. VC. That's what it is. Vibration constant collaborator. I don't know. Box holds my dream camera. I've been dreaming about this camera for many, many, many years, and I've finally got it. I can't still don't actually quite hasn't sunk in yet that I've actually managed to get my hands on it um, it was the last one left because Canon have discontinued this camera for the 5D Mark IV which is about 2000 Australian dollars more expensive than this whereas this still compares very highly compared to that camera so without further ado I think I'm gonna get straight in we'll, we'll do the boring parts first I'm gonna go and get a knife So in here we've got just a standardized 82mm UV filter from ProMaster. I've got a ProMaster filter on my current lens, the one I'm using now, and it's been very good. It doesn't get scratched very easily, which is always a positive with glass, but you've got to have them because if you don't have them then your warranty is a lot less likely to be no. You're a lot less, you've got a lot less chance of actually breaking your lens if you've got one of them. Say you drop it and it cracks, the more likely you're gonna break that than your actual lens. So, we've got a spare battery. I forgot, sorry, I didn't show you guys. The 5D Mark III takes an LPE6 battery. This was all stuff I had to find out today because I'd done a lot of my research on the actual lens that I was getting because that's sort of part I was most worried about, getting a third-party lens and not an actual Canon lens. First third-party lens I've ever got. I've only got three lenses at the moment for my current camera and they are all Canon. I was a bit hesitant, but doing my research, I think I've made a good investment. I don't think that's all they're focusing. Oh well, so that's the battery, nothing too extraordinary. And then just a standard 32 gig SD card. It was just basically, I just bought this so I had a spare. An SD card's an SD card, but I was there. It saves the, saves the time and effort. Throwing my shit around, that's cool. There's the three accessories that I bought. It's a lot of money right there. But here are the part we've all come here to see. Opening up the box. It's actually a bit different to what you would normally get in your normal unbox experience because this is the Tamron lens. They've put it inside the box. Because this kit usually comes with a 24 to 105 Canon lens, but I decided to get it with this. So put that right there and we'll come back to this. We'll get all the accessories out of this box first. So in here we have our Canon 5D Mark III instruction book. Um, and then warranty cards, all that kind of stuff, good to have. A lot of accessories, and then there's the, the thing, the thing. All right, battery, not much different to the battery we have over there. Our charger, charger's a charger to me. Battery, um, we have our strap, which I won't be using because I have a Byron Bay, a strap, well, not a Byron Bay strap, a strap that I bought from Byron Bay. It's like this cool brown woody texture. The, do thing, the thing I do like about this though is it has Canon 5 or EOS 5D Mark III embedded in this. So maybe I will use it. I don't know. I might switch it up every now and then. Anyways, then we have some AV cords. The cord for our battery charger, I believe. Just a micro USB cable. Always good to have, especially a long one, which is good. And we have our eyepiece. That's a very... Very large eyepiece. And the good thing is, on my current 700D, one of the clips is broken on it, so it just falls off. But if we look in comparison, 
I think that just that gives you a pretty a pretty good idea of what's about to happen. That's back on. But yeah, that slides off. These aren't supposed to slide off. I meant to like you know press them in and like actually get them off, but mine's a bit broken. Um, so as we open up the Tamron lens box, we have just a serial number and stuff. Good to have instruction and warranty books. How do we? Oh, what an unboxing experience! Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. All right, we'll sit that to the side because I actually like keeping my boxes. I'm guessing we lay it down. It lays down anyways. Ooh, that's, oh, this lens is heavy. This is, that lens is so heavy. Oh, that's, that, was a, that was a very cool unboxing experience. That's the best unboxing experience I've had since my last Apple product. Oh my God. <laughs> this is insane. I'm gonna, wait, I'm gonna show you the lens that I usually take during my photo shoots with. So the lenses that I usually do my photo shoots with is my 700D. I've got my 10 to 18 millimeter Canon lens on there at the moment, which is what I film on my videos with. My portrait photos shoots with, oh my God, I'm sweating on that. With this 18 to 55, and it weighs like literally like 200 grams. And this is what I do all my sport and landscape photography with, the 55 to 250 kit lens. So I've got the two kit lenses and a 10 to 18, and <laughs> this, weighs more than both of these put together. I reckon this weighs more than my camera. And I think that just about brings us into what is about to happen. Let's sit this to the side. And the thing I love, oh, that is such, that is such a nice piece of glass. It comes with its own lens hood, which is good because I was expecting to have to buy one. Oh my God, you have no idea what I'm going through right now. I thought I was excited in my iPhone 10 unboxing. Create. Holy fuck. This is not happening, sorry. All right, and final thing. Put that down, I'm just gonna. <laughs> oh my God, I can't do this right now. Oh my god, no, this is not happening. Uh. All right, let's put my eyepiece on here. This is actually phenomenal. I'm so excited right now. Look at that. <laughs> Ready, let's get a thumbnail. Um, I don't even know what to do right now. Let's let's put, put the battery in, I guess. And the SD card. And chuck the lens on. Ah! Never had a metal. <laughs> Holy fucking bullsack. <laughs> All right, are we ready to turn it on? What? First photo I ever took with my camera to be on the screen like you will have just seen it. Oh my god, this is incredible. It feels so different to take photos on with my than with my camera. Alright, I'm gonna go take some quick take some, some quick I can't even talk. Some quick test shots with this and I'll be back in a sec. Oh my god. And yeah guys, so those were a couple of the sample photos I just went out and took of my dog and my chickens. But um yeah, hopefully you guys think they're pretty cool. Hit up my Instagram for more. Down in the description below, yeah, Jacob Golding photo. They'll be on some of my actual Jacob Golding, some of my, they'll be everywhere. Just hit up the description box for all my social links. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna do a bit more of an in-depth review on this, hopefully in the coming weeks. Um, also, I changed shirt when I went out and took some photos, by the way. But um, yeah, compared to the 700, compared to the photos compared to the G7, um, compared to photos compared to my iPhone, I dare say it's going to be the source of quite a few videos over the coming weeks. So if you guys are looking forward to that, please don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up. And yeah, there was a vlog of me picking up this camera. If you guys want to see that, hit the cards up there or wait till the end cards at the end. And yeah, so without further ado, I'm going to go right ahead and leave this video, video right after you guys. If you have enjoyed, please don't forget to leave a big thumbs up and comment down below what camera you have. Um, any suggestions for videos or anything, um, hit me up on Twitter. 
Yep, anything like that. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out. Bang. <laughs> ah, this camera.